to the back side. And then we go knees up, align with the hips. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one wide stance, reaching overhead, swinging down between the feet, up and down. Go for 10 of those girls. Four, three, two, and one. They were gliding from side to side for the groins. Yeah. Four, three, two, and one. Then we kick the legs straight out in front. Good stretch to the hamstring. Four, three, two, and one. Deep squat, push the elbows out against the knees, keep chest high. Yeah. And then you go to side from side to side, opening up in the grind a little bit more. Four, three, two, and one, one knee out in front. Stretch hip flexor. <clears throat> Four, two, and one, and then we can swap sides. And then for pigeon stretch there, ladies, the glutes, pin the foot to the floor, walk the hands out in front nice and slow, and gradually lower the chest towards the ground. Go for 20 seconds there on either side. Five, four, three, Two and one, then we can swap over, ladies. Opposite side, get 20 seconds there as well. Four, three, two, and one. Good work. Then we have our thoracic reach back, so hand over the same ear. Elbow to the wrist and reach right back, open up shoulder blades and spine. Eight on either side, nice and slow. Stuff, ladies. When we have our reach backs done, then we can go to our glute bridges. Double leg, we go for 12. Single leg, eight either side. So lying flat on the floor, thrusting your hips to the ceiling. Well, double, eight, single. And then after that, we do a core activation for 10 taps on either side for shoulder taps.
nice and slow with our shoulder taps in, ladies, and we keep uh, hips on line with the shoulders if we can. If we just drop there a small bit, Lisa. Yeah, there we go. Just work the core a little bit more. When we have 10 down on either side, girls, we go for 12 lunges all together, six on either side, forwards or reverse, whichever you prefer. Just make sure we keep the shoulders back, chest tight, and then focus straight ahead. Body weight squats, same girls, when we have our 12 reps down there, we go for 10 squats, hands straight out in front, chest high, sitting straight down, back up, push through on the hips, get the squeeze on the back side. Uh, stuff ladies in our world's greatest stretch we just go for five on either side elbow to the same ankle reach right back keep the back leg fully extended if we can just the five reps on either side and then we go for three reps to finish off on our inch work and then we're good to go And our inchworm in for just the three reps, ladies. And I bring you through the moves then. Lovely stuff, ladies. All right. Um, I will bring us through the first three exercises. So to start us off, ladies, we have a split squat to press, and that is with an ISO hold, okay? Then we have a glute bridge with a chest press, and our third exercise in is our shoulder tap. So a nice little mix of everything, and I go through all three moves with you, so just a little different. I would say, I haven't done them with you before, uh, certainly not the first one. So what we're looking at here, ladies, is that uh, we get down into our split squat. So our stance is one foot out in front of the other, one hand out to the side, the other hand in, we're starting off just the inside of the shoulder. We get down into our split squat, we're gonna hold that position, and then we do our shoulder press, okay? So it's knee towards the floor. We're holding it as low as we can to the ground. So I just do it from side on there for you as well. So my knee isn't on the ground, but it's as close as I can get it to the floor. And we're pressing up overhead. So we're keeping the tension through the quad and hip muscles there all the way through. And then we swap sides once we have our tin reps done. You might need to shake out the legs in between the swap over, okay? And um, our second move then is a glute bridge with chest press. And again, it's a single arm. So I'm going to be working right glute here and right shoulder. So up into our glute bridge, single leg. And we're doing our chest press, palm facing out towards the toes, okay? Again, Focus here is on glute. We stay as high as we can with the hips. And we get our chest press in at the same time. So we're going to work in uh, chest, core, and glute. And our last one then is just our shoulder taps. Nice and slow. Tin on either side. 
keeping hips and torso as steady as possible. And we're going to go there, ladies, for four rounds, okay? Four rounds to start you off. So if you have any questions at all, girls, just in between reps, whatnot, don't be afraid to shout. It's only the two of you here this morning. So feel free to ask any questions at all, all right? Ten each side on the um, split spot. It, yeah, it's going to be ten all the way through on you, on all three exercises. Okay. okay. So when you're ready, girls, you can crack into it, all right? So you're just pressing with the opposite arm then, Lisa. So right leg out in front and press with the left arm. And you're the opposite on you then. Yeah, that's it. Stay as low as you can to the floor with the knee. You do your tin reps, you can come out within, shake out the legs. So you'll feel the tension through quad and hip flexor all the way through. This is even tough without weight. This well done. Shake out the legs and we get the opposite side done. Stay nice and low, shoulders back, squeeze core, keep the body upright. Spot on ladies, well done. Just try keep that knee a little lower if you can, Lisa, for the last few. That's it, well done. Nice one, well done. So then we have our glute bridges. So we're working the same side um, all the way through. So glute bridge with the right leg, planted on the floor. We're using the right arm and vice versa. So left foot on the floor, left arm. Keeping hips high. So we'll find as we're getting towards the end, the Hips and glutes will start to fatigue. Keep reminding ourselves to keep hips high, squeeze the glutes as hard as we can as we press. So opposite hand in again, Lisa. Right hand, right leg. Left hand, left leg. Yeah, that's it. That's spot on girls, well done. And keep reminding yourselves to keep the hips high. Shouldn't let the backside drop towards the floor as we're going through it. And then our shoulder taps, 10 either side. Great okay, curls, well done. So that's the first round complete. We'll aim for three rounds. We'll see how we're going time-wise, if we can get a fourth in. It's slow enough now, because we have to work both sides here, one after the other. It's more like four or five exercises we're doing rather than three. Stick with it, we'll definitely get three done, all right? Great stuff, girls. Well done. Shake out the legs and swap sides.
Good girls, keeping hips high towards the end. Don't let them drop. Go, Lisa. Not shoulder taps in. Finish off your second round. Let's go on you. Nice job, girls. Lot, no problem to you whatsoever. Spot on, girls. We we'll get the four rounds in, okay? So you're on your third there now. Shoot into the fourth. We get it done. And then we'll go on to our next block of moves. Right, ladies, well done. All into our last round now, okay?
That's great, girls. Last move or two. Greatly so done. And then your shoulder taps to finish off. Anya, while you are waiting there, um, we have a banded row with the front plank next. So if you want, you can be getting a band tied on to something low enough that's steady there. Um, just something that won't move. And Lisa, when you're done, then you can tie it on to the leg of the table there as well. Just wrap the band around it. So if you just knot it, yeah. So bring both sides of it around and loop. Uh, one in through the other. Yeah, that's it. And then pull one side and it'll tighten. Yeah, that's perfect. And is yours all right there, Anya? Are you just holding one strand there, Lisa, or two? One, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, I'll go through the moves with you there, ladies, all right? So we have our banded row. We have a seated posture press and then a kettlebell RDL. So um, our banded row, we're going to go for 20 seconds on either side. Our seated posture press. And we're going to go for 40 seconds and our kettlebell RDL for 40 seconds as well. Um, kettlebell RDL, just with the one kettlebell, okay? If you want to go heavier again, you can go with two. Posture press, you're looking at something like six kg, between six and eight kg if we have them. And then the banded row, I'll show you here. So as you see, I have my band set up. Just try to get straight in line with it if you can. We're getting to a nice out of plank position. Grab your band in one hand. So the further we pull back from the band, then girls, the more resistance we're going to feel through the core. We're going to pull elbow back to the hip, fully in the arm, nice and slow. So I'm not worried about how many reps we get here. Just the full movement to work the core as hard as we can. As we go up onto one hand, say, the body naturally is going to want to shift all the weight over to, say, my left hand side. Let's try to keep it nice and straight. Imagine that we have the cone on the back and we're pulling straight back and forth, okay? 20 seconds on either side. And then we have our posture press. Our posture press is with legs straight out in front, weight in either hand, press right up, hold for a second. And back down. So try to keep the legs completely flat, squeeze the core as hard as we can. Pressing straight up. And our third move then, we have our kettlebell already up. So I just have to do mine with the dumbbell there. All out of kettlebells. So, so from side on I go girls. Um, knee hinge first, and then hip hinge back behind, okay? Push forward then on the glutes at the top, so a knee bend. Hips go back, 
You're keeping your weight as close to the shins as possible. And back up. If you have only light weights there, go to one in either hand. And we feel that all down the back of the legs. Darren. Yes. For the posture press, I only have one weight. I only have the kettlebell. So okay. So what I get you to do is um, go half and half, 20 seconds either side, Lisa. Right. Okay. You okay, Anya? Right. Okay, ladies. So when we're ready, we go to our plank with a row first. We're going to go for 20 seconds on either side. Start with whichever side you prefer. We go in four, three, two, and one. 20 seconds on either side here, nice and slow. Try keep hips in line, that we're not swaying to one side. That's good, ladies. It's a good core exercise. Feel the burn. Three, two, and one. Well done. And then we swap sides. And we go again in three, two, and one. Four, three, two, and one. Super work. Then we have a posture press for 40. And Lisa, I'll give you the shout then after 20 seconds, okay? We go in five, four, three, two, and one. That's it. So palms, the hands facing out towards. Uh, out in front of you, say. Perfect. And squeeze the core as hard as we can. Keep a nice straight line through the spine. One last one, Lisa, and then you can swap sides. Good. It's great on you. Well done. Keep the core tight. Back nice and straight. Core supports the spine. Well done, ladies. Last seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Well done. And then our kettlebell RDL or dumbbell RDL, all right? Three, two, and one for 40 seconds straight girls. Get the slightest knee bend and then it's hips back from there then. It's good ladies. Twenty down, twenty to go. That's it. Keeping our weight close to the shins. If we hold it out in front, we might feel a little pinch in the back. So keep it nice and close to the body. Last six seconds, girls. And hold. Well done. Nice work. So that's our first round done, ladies. First of three. Okay, and we're back down for a plank with the row, girls. <clears throat> we go in five, four, three, two, and one. 20 seconds again on either side. Three, two, one. Press for five and swap. Three, two, one. And away we go again, ladies. 20 seconds again. Five. 
final six. And hold it there. Nice work, girls. Done. Posture press next again. Same again, Lisa, 2020. And on, you can, you can go straight through. You go on three, two, and one. Swap and now Lisa, good stuff. Straight into them if you can. Straight girls, last five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. And then our kettlebell RDL, we go in four, three, two, and one. Great ladies, 15 seconds on the clock. And hold it there. Good stuff. Nice work girls, that's two rounds done, one to go. Okay, we go again in five, four, three, two, and one. And hold, ladies, good work. Last time, we go on three, two, and one. And hold girls, well done. Super work, two to go. Okay, three, two, and one. Strong as we can, girls, at the core. Brace as hard as we can. That's 20 seconds, Lisa. Five, four, three, two, and time.
Lovely stuff. And we're going into our last move then, girls. Are Kettlebell already up? We go in five, four, three, two, and one. Good ladies, final 10, get two to three reps. And time, well done. Okay girls, our last three moves. Um, it is a reverse lunge. We have a tricep dip and we also have our toe touches. So upper body, lower body, and a bit of core as well to finish off. We have 12 reps for every move, girls. So we have six lunges on either side, 12 tricep dips, 12 toe touches, and we are going for six minutes. So it's as many rounds as we can get in within the six minutes, girls. So we're challenging all different parts of the body. So we shouldn't fatigue too badly as we're going through it. Um, I'll just go through the moves here with you now. Just have to put this a little higher. Try some dips. So for our backwards lunge girls, we go weighted. Uh, Lisa, you only have the one weight, so you'd have to make do with one at center. Or oh, yeah, you can go one center or one either side feet together to start off take your step back drop the knee to the floor and opposite side you've done them loads of times before you know the crack then we have our tricep dip skirts off the chair or bench and we go knee bent and we're trying to keep our back as close to the surface behind us as we can touch the back side off the floor and get a big squeeze on the triceps in at the top. Okay, that is number two. And number three to finish off is our toe touches. So feet up, if we need to cross them, we can to keep them up nice and high. We're getting right up, shoulder blades off the ground and touching the tips of the toes every time, okay? So that's our three moves, girls, for six minutes. That would be a nice way to finish out this morning's class, okay? So when we're ready, girls, we go in five, four, three, two, and one. Six minutes, away we go. Really good ladies, six lunges on either side. To start us off, that'll be the 12 reps. Super girls, well done. Good depth in our tricep dips every time. Down as low as we can. If we want to make them tougher again, we extend the legs straight out in front.
Great girls, well done. Getting right up there every time, Lisa. Shoulder blades off the ground. Let's go down, you're done. Good depth every time. Just over the two minute mark, girls. Well done. So, a minimum of three rounds here, okay? Have to get the three minutes in, or the three rounds in, sorry. Good ladies, hold up, keep pushing hard. It's great ladies, hold well on. Keep it going now. We have 3.40 on the clock. That's good, four minutes. We have both started our third round, well done. Thirty seconds, girls, or minute thirty, should I say? One minute thirty. Exactly. Let's do as much as we can. Great, well done, Anya. Good stuff. One minute exactly. It's at least up there every single time. Good job. One last push, girls, 40 seconds, 35 seconds, all right? Then we're done. Final 20 seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, ladies. Nice job, great effort. Well done. Okay, guys, we get a stretch to finish off, all right? So we start off one knee on the floor for our hip flexor. Hands behind the head and push straight out on the hip. Three, 
three, two, one, and we swap sides. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whatever way then, girls, we want to stretch the glutes. So we can sit or do from our pigeon stretch position, whatever way we want. Four, three, two, one, and swap them over. Four, three, two, and one. We can sit then, ladies. We're going to bring the feet together and we're going to push the elbows down against the knees, getting a stretch through the groin. Five, four, three, two, and one. Can we get a back stretch? Hands underneath the shoulders. Hold into the floor and look straight up towards the ceiling. Go over left shoulder and our right shoulder. Just relax in for a second. Deep the toes into the ground and walk the feet or walk the hands into the feet. Grab the heels and push the head down towards the toes. Keeping the knees lapped out, feel the stretch on the hamstrings. Four, three, two, and one. And then we just loosen out the spine, get a rotation from side to side. And then we bring one hand overhead, the other hand comes behind the body. Five. Four, three, two, and one. All right, girls, that is us finished up for this morning. Well done. Great work. Thank you. Cheers, Aaron. Thanks, Melinda. Not a problem at all. No problem. Thanks, Melinda, Lisa.